Have you ever A to B tested your first image on Amazon for free? If you haven't tried this free service, you are doing yourself injustice. I just did this for one product, changed the first image, and increased my sales by $2,000 in a matter of days. You should totally try it, test it out, see what works, and increase your sales today on Amazon. Hey everybody, I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, where we help you increase your Amazon sales. I have over 50 employees and manage over $5 million a month on Amazon for our clients. I also sell on Amazon myself and I'm doing pretty well. What we do is we're gonna be testing different things, different new types of strategies on Amazon, see if they work. If they do work, we implement it out to all of our clients. So we test ourselves. That's the type of consultant you should have. It's a consultant that tests their products themselves before they test yours. Now let's dive in. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's dive into A to B testing and what I did myself that increased sales by $2,000. So you can see here's the product right here and this is the page where I ran the experiment of the A to B test. All I did is I changed where I had Amazon look and A to B test the first image. So here's the image right here. This is the first image. This has been Amazon on Amazon for quite some time. And then here is the second image right here. And this image increased sales by $2,000. Now I didn't wanna go ahead and, the sales have been good, so I didn't wanna mess up anything. So I had Amazon do an A to B test. I highly recommend you do it. And I recommend you do it with the first image because the first image is usually the most important. So as you can see, here's the data that Amazon gives me. It says that it's 90% likely that the second photo is going to be the best. Amazon automatically implemented it for me and sent me all this data, which was completely free. So it's hard not to say Amazon's awesome for this tool. And you can see it's an extra $2,000 increase, an extra 34 sales. I'm totally, extremely happy how well this worked. And I'm surprised that this was free. I hopefully it stays free. You can A to B test so many different things, not just the first image, but I'm going to show you how to, I did it specifically today. Let's dive in. So all you have to do is go to brands, your brands tab, and then you're going to do manage experiments. If you don't have the brands tab, you can message Amazon to get access to it. If you have brand registry. So to get brand registry, you pretty much have a trademark. If you don't know how to do that, feel free to drop a comment and I'll make a video on that, but get a trademark, file with Amazon brand registry, and then you'll have the brands tab. If you still don't have the brands tab, message Amazon. Now here's, you're gonna go to manage experiments, and then here's the experiment I just, want, I just ran, and then you can click create new experiment here. You can do A plus content, bullet points, product images, product description, product title, and also brand story. I always recommend to do the product image first, specifically the first image, because that's what's gonna get you the most clicks. That's what's going to increase your sales the most if you have a better first image. And then you can test the other thing, like the secondary images, which aren't as important. And then you have the product description, again, A plus content, bullet points. It's always good to test everything. I would say the first image and then the title, and then you can test the other things as well. But the first image obviously increased sales by 2000, so can't come complain at all and then what you're going to do is you're going to click it and then make sure that you have at least 700 views if you don't have 700 views on your product it's not going to be eligible if you need more views run amazon ads on your product and then it'll be eligible that's my recommendation make sure you click show more asins so you can see which asins are eligible for this and now let's select so here's an example of setting up this experiment before we dive into the specifics, you're gonna click view settings. You should be doing this with me is what something that I recommend and make sure you name it, right? So this is Dr. Desire and then you're gonna do A to B test the first image. And you can do a hypothesis, right? If I put this image first, it'll increase more sales, right? If I change the first image, it'll increase sales. You can do two significance. This is what I did where Amazon's automatically gonna run it until they figure out which one is a clear winner. Or you could do it by duration and you can check it out yourself. So you can do 10 weeks, eight weeks, six weeks, four weeks, up to you, either one. Again, I did 
by significance. And then you can start your experiment as soon as possible, which I do recommend, and then automatically publish the winning version. This makes it so easy. Right when Am mine was a 98% winner, right when Amazon finds a winner that's at least 66 probability, they're gonna publish it for you. And then you can sit back, relax, and you're like, okay, I got the best first image in the game. Don't forget to review your competitors to see what first image they have. Make sure your images is just as good or better than theirs, preferably better. Look at different categories, something that stands out that you buy on Amazon. Now you can experiment the secondary images, but when you run an A to B test, I only recommend testing one thing at a time. If I tested the secondary images and the first image, I wouldn't know if it's the first image that did a good job or was it my secondary images that increased sales. What was it? I don't know because I'm testing too many things. Test one thing at a time. And that's why you test the most important things first. That way it's going to increase your sales the most. So here's version A. I would just put the version B photo and then have Amazon run the experiment. And it's that easy. Now some important tips that you don't know about running an experiment, and I know from running an experiment already, is when you run this experiment, you click schedule, make sure you come back in at least 48 hours and double check, is it actually running or is there an error? If you sell on Amazon, you know, if you turn something on, sometimes Amazon doesn't run it, they say there's an error and you never get notified. So double check it's actually running or else you're gonna come back two weeks from now and be like, oh, I forgot to run it or oh, there was an error. Double check that it's actually running. After that, I want you to go to Amazon yourself and type in whatever you can type in to find your ASIN. Maybe mine's Dr. Desire Silicone Set. I'll type that in, in incognito mode. So I'll go into incognito mode, right? I'll find my product. I'll type it in on Amazon as, as if I'm a buyer. Type that in, search it, refresh, and you're gonna see the image change. Just double check that the image looks good, right? You just wanna double check, because right now, when I'm putting this on here, it's so much smaller. You're gonna to wanna to double check what does a customer see? So you know that version B is good. We had a client do this themselves. They had a version B, and they didn't know that their background was grayed out. It didn't really show grayed out, until unless you were looking at it from the buyer's perspective. So make sure you're looking at it as, from the buyer's perspective. After that, all you have to do is just triple check and once it's running, everything's good, you check from the buyer's perspective, it should be smooth sailing from there. If you have any additional questions, you can reach out to Amazon and they also have an FAQ right here, res experiment results, tips for experiments, and about my experiments. And I hope this helps you increase your sales on Amazon. If you need help creating a first photo or getting an experiment going, even increasing your sales, contact us today. We got your back and I'm happy to help. Thanks.